ओवर वन मिलियन पीपल यूज इज इंस्टाग्राम डी एम मंथली ऑल द बिजनेस इज स्मॉल और बिग आर ऑन इंस्टाग्राम कस्टमर एक्सपेक्ट रिप्लाई विद इन वन आर और इंस्टेंटली बिकॉज इफ द रिस्पॉन्स टाइम गोज बियॉन्ड द टू आर्स द कन्वर्जन रेट ड्रॉप्स बाई एटी फाइव टू नाइनटी परसेंट बी इट अ फिटनेस कोच ऑनलाइन ट्यूटर ई कॉमर्स स्टोर नॉट एवरी वन कैन बी ऑनलाइन ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन This is a common problem every business faces. But what if Instagram could talk directly on your behalf and give exact response whatever you want without your online being present and capture lead for you so that you can review it later and you can contact them afterwards. So that's what we are going to create in today's video. So let me give you a short demo. So consider this account of my dog as a fitness coach. So you might have seen in the Instagram that type this word and you will get all the information. So in the same way I have set up this account whenever someone type fitness the process will go. So, for example, if I come and write fitness, this could be very much customizable. As you can see, we got a reply: "Hi, I am Fitbot. Coach loves assistant. To help you better, may I ask you what's your main fitness goal right now? Weight loss, muscle gain, or overall health improvement? So, let me say muscle gain. So now it's asking: Great choice. How many days per week you can realistically commit to working out, considering your work and family schedule? So let me say five days per week." So as you can see how it is naturally getting the conversation and trying to identify the lead. So now it's saying that's wonderful. Have you tried any fitness program before and are you ready to invest in the structured coaching program? As you can see how properly it is identifying the lead. So let me send. So now as you can see it is saying perfect. You sounds like an ideal fit for a low coaches program. To schedule your free 20 minute consulting call, I'll need your email address. So as you can see now if I get thousands DM daily and i don't have to go through each and every one manually this machine this bot can identify which is the appropriate lead for your business okay so let me send that email so by the way this is not my real email this is a fake email okay so now as you can see i have got the reply using this link i can book the meeting with this fitness coach and also i have got some free guide which i was looking for when i saw that ad so how crazy this is and i'm saying you this is highly customizable on whatever niche you're working or whatever business you own so whatever you just saw we are going to develop the same thing we are going to use two main tool over here one is anten and one is manichat so hi my name is lakshit and i am on a mission to help businesses grow their business using ai so let's get started so to get the messages from the instagram account we use the manichat so you don't have to go through all the meta verification and all So once you are in this website, it's called manichat.com. You just do the sign in. Then you will end up in the same page as I am. So currently, it will show you as a free account. In the bottom, you can see zero out of thousand account that you might be using. But for the task we are going to use, we need a pro account. And don't worry, you don't have to pay anything right now for at least fourteen period because we will be on the trial period as I am right now. Okay. So to first, what you need to do, you need to go into the setting, go to the Instagram, and connect your Instagram account over here. Okay. It's a very simple process. So once you have done the connection part, and go to the automation, and this is the automation live of mine, which I showed you right now, and this is the automation we are going to build. And don't worry, I'll be showing you everything step by step. Okay, so go to the automation again, and click on this, click new automation. Once you are over here, just click on this, start from scratch. So now we have the flow over here. So we need a trigger. So what is trigger? So whenever whatever action happens, we need to start this workflow. So in our case, we want that we want to capture the lead. So whenever we get a message from a user, we want to go. and we want some particular keywords in that so we'll click on the new keyword and we want to have a user send us a message okay and we want to detect specific word so let's say whenever user write fitness or workout okay you could add multiple keywords over here okay once you written that then click on the create over here okay once the trigger has been created we need to send this message to anytime then we need to have a response we want to have a loop where anytime and manichat continuously talk to each other and sends to instagram So for that let let's remove this part over here and now first we need to create the variable over here so to create the variable first what we need to do we need to come into action we need to click on plus action and we need to set a user field if you can't see over here you can go to the contact data and click on the set user field it is just we are setting up the variable over here okay now click on the unknown field and just search for the uh, user field over here so you might not be seeing any kind of a user field over here just click on the user field and now write whatever variable name you want this variable name will store all the message we get from the user okay so we will be writing as a user input okay which will be for text field so i already have so i won't be creating again so as you can see i'll be selecting the user input so this field has been created and what value we want to store we want to store whatever last message they have sent so when you come over here click on the uh, curly braces 
now you will see last text input this will contain all the message that they have sent so now we have the variable which will store the message which we are getting from the user okay so now once we have the message we need to send this message to anatel okay so how we can send we can send through the api okay so for that we need to create the api in the anatel so we'll go to anatel so this is the workflow which we are going to create in the anatel so if you don't know what is anatel anatel is a local automation tool which help you to automate your task so don't worry we'll be creating everything from scratch so now this is the home page you might be seeing so come over here and click on the create workflow okay so if you don't know how to create the anatel account there will be a link in the description you can click on that and you can create the account okay once you have the account now it's time to accept the data which we'll be getting from the manager so for that we require webhook trigger over here so trigger is something which starts the workflow so in our case whenever we get the message from manychat that's where our workflow will get started so this is the address on which the manychat will send the data but we need the post data because we require some information inside the address as well okay and you can customize the path uh, so let's say manychat if you don't it's okay as well okay and now in the respond part we need to send as a using respond to webhook node okay if you have done the immediately it won't process the workflow it will immediately send the response which there is nothing to send to okay we want uh, using respond to webhook once you have selected this now come over here click on the plus icon and search for respond so you will be seeing the respond to webhook okay and now click on the all incoming item because we want to send all the data which we have so now once you have done this thing now we need to write the brain in between which will be getting the data from the user which will be getting from the many chat and customizing it according what we want to send we'll be sending the data to the user back okay so now we need to add the ai agent node over here okay so this ai agent which will take care of everything over here okay so now first what we need to do we need to first have the chat model which i'm using the open ai over here you can use any chat model okay so let me select the account so i have created tons of video how to create the open ai credential you can see any of them okay so now once we have that thing now what data we need to send so for that let's go to manage it again so don't forget to write the proper naming over here so let's say we write um instagram and it and chat okay and now we need to send this message to it over there so for that we'll click on the next step okay and now we need to do the action click on the plus action and now we need to make the external request if you don't see over here you can see in the automation and make external request okay now click on the add your request and now we want to have the url for where we need to send the data and that url will get from the anatel so let's go to anatel inside the webhook you can see this there is a url click on the url as you can see url is copied now go to many chat and paste it over here and now we need to send some data because in the post we send some data so go to the body now let's write something what we need to send so for that let's open the curly braces and we need to send the user data which we got okay so we'll write user underscore input okay this is the key name which we'll be sending don't worry it could be anything and now we need to send the data which we just save in the variable and how to access the variable you can come over here and click on the add a field inside a custom user field and we have this user input field okay i have added this field now so now we need to send some unique data regarding that chat okay which would be kind of contact id so there we can write contact underscore id and same thing we can get from the add a field and there is a kind of contact id over here this contact id is unique to each and every user out there okay this will help us in any time to maintain a session over there so if you are seeing an invalid json over here so don't worry go to instagram okay and on which you are setting up so send message to that account okay so for example if you connected your account so send message from another account okay so just write here over here okay and now we'll go to the many chat again and now search for the user account from where you have sent the data so i have sent from this account over here so as you can see it is seeing some error expected this after the property name in json as you can see we have missed a colon over here and as you can see we are getting the data which we have sent over there okay so now once we are getting now we need to send this data to anatel okay so for that let's do the test request but before test request go to anatel and start the workflow so now the workflow has been started we'll go to manage it again and now we'll do the test request if you go to now anatel you can see we got the data if i open this so as you can see we are getting the hey from the user input and contact id which is unique to each and every session out there so now in the ai agent we have to include the memory because memory will play a very important role over here we'll keep it as simple memory but you can use superbase postgres whatever memory you want and for the session id 
we'll use the contact id which we got we'll drag and drop this part over here and for the context window i think 10 is good enough a number over here so now we have that thing and now the main thing which is the prompt which we'll be using over here so let's come over here and let's do the define below in the user message we'll get a, a message for whatever we are getting and we'll write as a user input now we got the hey over here so now we need a system prompt so let's click on the add option system message so this will play a very major role over here so let me paste one system prompt over here and don't worry you will be getting all this data okay i'll be telling you where you can get this all the data okay so now once you have this system prompt so what does this system prompt say that you are a fit bot at the ai assistant for coach love okay so we are giving the background of the coach how many experience he has and whatever different kind of things okay then we are telling the role of the agent okay we are seeing that you qualify potential client assess their fitness goal and determine if they're good fit for coach allow or not because you don't need to waste the time of the particular person okay and we have the conversation flow where introduce yourself as a coach loves assistant with a warm greeting then we need to ask the qualifying question so what are the questions the first the first question is what's your main fitness goal right now weight loss muscle gain or overall health improvement then second question is how many days per week you can uh, give for this workout then third question is have you tried any fitness program earlier or not okay and the qualification criteria we are saying that if the person is giving a proper answer in the first question where we are asking what is the fitness goal over there okay then the second answer could be kind of how many days they can commit so we are telling that it could be more than three plus days okay it means that the person is serious okay then third is kind of are they ready to invest or not so if the person says just a vague answer just want to be fit or can commit only one to two days per week and they are not ready to invest then we'll disqualify them okay so whenever we disqualify them then we'll say a polite message thanks for sharing i can see you are interested in fitness while you might not be ready for structured program right now okay so such a polite answer we are sending to them if the person is qualified then we'll ask for the email id from them so now once you have the email id then we'll send the link of the calendar or this could be anything and also we'll send them a guide on which they can get started until unless we start the program so now once that all thing is done so we are also using one of the tool over here which is known as a lead capture so whatever lead we are getting we are getting that lead and we are storing in the excel sheet okay so if i show you the excel sheet this is how the excel sheet look like so as you can see we are getting the email id and we are also storing the summary of what kind of a chat we have done okay so now once this is done so now we have our system prompt in place so now we need to send the answer reply back to the manager before that we need to also add one of a tool which i just showed you of excel part over there of google sheet okay so first connect the credentials if you don't know how to connect the credentials you can see the video in the i button okay and now what is the operation we need to do we need to append the row so for that we'll come and append the row and from which document you can select the excel sheet which you have and sheet which you have okay so now once you have this thing so there are only two fields which we need to add so for that let's ai decide whatever value we want to fill in that part this is it this is all we need to do for the tool part so now once we have all things in place so now what we'll do we'll mark this as an active workflow and get the production url because we don't need to come again and again start the workflow and test thing out over there so once we have the production workflow we'll go to many chat inside the many chat we'll paste the production uh, workflow over here and now we can see everything will work fine so now once we have the data so now what has been done so we are getting the user input we are now sending the user input to anyton and from anyton we are getting the assistant input over there okay so now we need to map this so once we get the response we need to map this response to the assistant input so for that let's come over here and from the json part in the respond webhook if you're using all incoming items so write the same thing just come over here write dollar dot zero dot output okay and we need to map to the custom field so for that i have the uh, assistant reply field over here so if you don't know in the same way you created the user input field create the assistant input field as well okay so once we have that thing we'll do the save and now we have the assistant input now we need to send this assistant input to the instagram account so for that we'll click on the next step in the instagram and now we need to send the message so for that we need to click on the data collection part so once you selected that remove this first part and now we need to send the assistant input so for that we we'll click on the uh, curly braces and now in the custom user field click on the assistant reply okay and now once we have the assistant reply this assistant reply has been sent to the instagram account now again the message will come from the user so in the contact reply contact reply means the user reply so again the contact reply we need to add that 
information to the variable which we had for the user input so we'll click on the user input part over here and now this thing is done so now again we have the user input what we need to do we need to send this user input again back to the anytime so for that in the next step we'll again click on this anytime part over here so now this is the loop user send the message it goes to the many chat many said send to the anytime from anytime we get the response we send to the instagram from instagram again we get the user message we send over here so it's a loop okay so now all the things are in place now it's only time is remaining to set live so now our automation is live i'll go to the instagram again so now i'll write again as workout so this is the one of the keyword which we have selected okay so now as you can see hi there if you have any fitness goal or question feel free to share i'm here to support you what's your main fitness goal right now muscle uh, weight loss muscle gain or overall health improvement so as you can see it is working perfectly fine over here so i hope you like the video and let me share you what you have been waiting for so to get all this information all the data which i use in the system prompt and everything so for that you can go to my school community okay inside that you can go to the classroom click on youtube resource over here then in the social media automation part you will be seeing many chat plus instagram automation inside that you will get the whole system prompt which i used okay in the bottom as well you will get the end template which i just built so i hope you like the video please press the like button share your thoughts in the comment subscribe to my channel we'll meet in the next video till then take care